Happy New Year's. Happy New Year to I, you. I, I hope you had you. a. Uh, I hope you had a more pleasant one uh, than I did. I had little ugly experiences on my New Year's, which I've already told everyone about, involving vomit. I, yeah, but uh, once or not me. Oh. No, don't get the wrong idea. Huh. No, but uh, it was just it was just a night where it's hard in New York City. I think to have like a pleasant New Year's. You know, it's, right. it can be it can be kind Were of a challenge. Were you alone? Let's not get into that. <laughs> 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 that is none of your business, was, man. Was the vomiting uh, because of drinking? No, it, someone else. Yeah, I explained earlier in the show. I someone else vomited. Don't you watch the show from your dressing room? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my wife. You didn't even watch. That is uh, no actually, excuse. I, I did watch the show, and, and I did see. I did see something that I would like to ask the audience to participate in. Uh -huh. Speaking of New Year's, that you mentioned during the monologue, to uh -huh. show that I am paying attention. I heard in the monologue uh, that Conan said that he his resolution would be to no longer milk the audience for applause. Yes. As a performer, I understand that, but as a performer, I also know that he doesn't mean that. So I, I would like to request not only to this studio audience, but mm -hmm. to future audiences that come here and to all, all of America, basically, as they, and, and satellite countries, as I heard Mr. Richards was watching yes. on satellite, yes. uh, that, that at any point, uh, not, not to your knowing when this point would come, not the best English, but I'm an actor. I'm not an English teacher. So uh, <laughs> that at some point you would just rise, as I would like to ask you to do right now, everyone in the audience, rise. Please, <laughs> and give Conan a standing ovation. Go ahead. Oh! Give it to him. Take it. Oh! I... Woo! I... And everyone at home, everyone at home, get up and hold. There he is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. And, and, and please, those of you that will be here on future nights, if I'm not here to advise you of this, uh, just do it at any time. Just Don't pay attention to what they tell you here. Just do it. Just do it. He will respond, I'll guarantee you. You, you also, if you just do it at home, if you're watching at home on your set, do it there. We'd appreciate that, too. Yeah. Well, that's what I meant. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. That really came from their heart, too. That's the nice well, thing. Well, when it's so unexpected like that, you, you have... <laughs> It's, it's a very moving thing. Very nice, very nice. Well, sure. I, I do have to ask you, did you have a nice New Year's Eve? That's the... I did. We basically sat around. My little one went to a friend's house because it's his birthday every New Year's, which kind of sucks if you're a little kid. Uh -huh. uh, because you never have your party with your friends. You have to have it at a different time. But uh -huh. then you do get two presents. So he was off there. And then my son Isaac and my wife Catherine and myself, we made a little turkey dinner. We sat there with our dogs and we sang the ABC song. What, what, what is the ABC song? Well, uh, my son Isaac said, well, why don't we just start at the beginning and make a resolution? We should just start all over again, right? And I said, sure. He said, well, so we should do the ABC song. So I would like another group participation <laughs> thing right now. <laughs> okay. All right. right. <laughs> Andy, if you take that, come on over here. Andy, if you take this area of the house right here and call it, okay. if, if you take this one yeah, right here. Do what? Here we go. So call it. Divide, let's divide the house. Let's divide the house right here, okay? So this is not this is number three, you're number two, and you're number one. Okay? Number one. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, now. Okay. I, I've, I've never tried this uh, other than at the dinner table, and my wife can't sing a note, so it was completely unsuccessful. But I wish you luck. We will do the ABC song in a round, okay? All right. Now you begin, and here we go, and you lead them. This is the ABC. Yeah, now don't oh. be nervous. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, N, O, P, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, N, O, P, I was afraid to ask, but how old is your son that wants the ABC song? Oh, uh, he's 12. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was, but, but I was really afraid it was going to be, he's 34 uh, years old. Yeah. <laughs> he just likes it. Is my bald spot that old? That big? <laughs> oh, God. Uh-huh. No, but uh, thank you for, uh, for that song, first of all. Well, it's going to be a chart topper now. Well. Do you do that? He has such a nice... Uh, I see that's such a nice relationship with, with audiences. Do you do that kind of interactive stuff in the, in the shows? You, you tour around sometimes a lot of Sometimes I do, yeah, sometimes certain things. Certainly I'm gonna do the ABC song, From Now On, You Just Gave It Birth. Thank you. <laughs> it's now a... They all want their cut, too, by the way. They'll get it. When you, uh, I know you, you tour colleges, too. You do yes. a lot of performances at colleges. You must get requested all the time your speech from the Princess Bride. Yeah, do you they, get that all the time? They, well, they usually sit for about an hour and a half, listen to all the songs I sing, but their only desire is for me to hear the one line, is for them to hear me say the one line from the Princess Bride. Oh. Will you favor us now with it? Why not? <laughs> Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Conversation starter. It's a little depressing when you're at a concert, you sing your heart out for two hours, and that's all they want to hear. <laughs> and they love it. Uh, well, I was backstage. I actually talked to you for quite a long time. Yeah, we had a good Usually talk. Usually I, I go into people's dressing room before and just, you know, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. You and I got wrapped up in a very long conversation. I noticed that while you were there, I noticed you had this giant bag. Right. Of what was it? It was... Uh, it was... Uh, I, I had to do an interview on CNN earlier, and uh, there was someone there who actually was uh, the distributor for Manischewitz matzah uh, for all of Long Island. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> that's heaven to me. <laughs> so yeah. I, I requested to be the spokesman for their product, and uh -huh. lo and behold, she calls her father, the girl who runs the show, and says, he's on the way to pick me up. Can I wait 15 minutes? The guy comes up, he's got a whole box of stuff, gives me chocolate Hanukkah candy, uh -huh. uh, gives me matzah, bagel pretzel matzah and everything, and... Uh, and so he gave me that because uh, I like matzah. <laughs> you, have, you have like a year's supply back there. Well, well, I've often, as I'm sure this has happened to you sometimes, uh, I, actually, I knew that Glenn Close was a friend, and, and she said once that uh, she had um, uh, mentioned something about a certain product. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll say, what? who cares, Fritos, in an uh -huh. article. The next thing she knows, a truckload of Fritos comes to her house. I have mentioned everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on every single uh -huh, interview I've, uh -huh. I've never gotten a thing. Right. Backstage, I talk about Manischewitz. They're sending me a crate <laughs> of matzah, uh -huh. which I'm excited about. Yeah, that's very nice. Do you get, do you get a lot of, uh, do you get Jewish groups often approaching you, wanting you to, to be involved? Is, yes. it, is, your, is, your, is your culture, you know, a big part of uh, your act? It is. Or... It was almost a small, it, actually, it was almost diminished by even a, a, a certain degree early on in my life. Uh, mm -hmm. even greater than the natural diminishment that most Jewish men go through. Um, uh, <laughs> what Conan is referring to... That, well, I didn't refer to it. <laughs> well, we just, what they do with these shows, I ask you a few questions. I say, you got any interesting stories you'd like uh -huh. to tell? So I mentioned this one story, and Conan says, well, how do I bring that up? I mean, you know, how am I... I thought I did it very artfully it, and nicely. You did it beautifully. And what the story is, it's the fact that I was circumcised twice. And... Uh, <laughs> Conan wanted to hear why. I just want, I just thought that we could all help you yeah, with well, this painful memory. I, actually, I, I have no painful memory about it. I look at it now as an excuse for anything that you might read about me for the rest of my life. But <laughs> what happened was I was born in Mercy Hospital uh -huh. on the south side of Chicago, which has since been torn down. It's a Catholic hospital. My mother was a good Jewish woman. She goes there, I'm born. And the nun comes into the room and says, Mrs. Patinkin, we'd just like you to know that your son's circumcision went fine. Mm -hmm. My mother has a heart attack and says, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? He's Jewish. There's supposed to be a bris, which is the ceremony that they take uh, care of you. And, uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> and, and what do you mean? She says, the nun says, calm down, Mrs. Patinkin, calm down. She runs out of the room. She comes back a few minutes later with the doctor. And the doctor says to my mother, Mrs. Patinkin, I just looked. There's enough left for the ceremony. <laughs> I'd like to show you. No! <laughs> Being late on TV, you do, you do that sort of thing. Yeah, don't you could you? do that this late at night, sure. you know, and people just be watching going, huh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick with this rather than the infomercial yeah. <laughs> a little longer. Well, uh, it was a real thrill. That's the end of my interview, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I'm just, there's a network guy saying, get him off! Get him off!
No, actually, uh, we're we're out of time, unfortunately. But uh, I wish you'd I wish you'd come back sometime because we didn't get to one tenth the stuff we wanted to talk to you. And you're you're a lot of fun to have on the show. Well, I'd love to. Will come, you come back. back sometime. I'd love to. Thank you. All right. I, let me mention that Chicago Hope, a really a, a really good show, is uh, just moved to Mondays at 10 p.m. on CBS, right. and people should check it out. All Please right, watch. Mandy Patinkin, everybody. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. He's trying to get more applause. All right, folks, let me be right back. We'll see you in a second.